All right, we're recording. Leo, I hope the camera and the lighting show up. I turned some of the lights off, uh, Leo, so hopefully it looks like it shows up all right. We'll go through these cards individually. This is going to be, let's see, get these wind times here. This is going to be your January reading. Okay, Leo? Uh, these uh, cards were, they are actually drawn uh, days back, days ago. But it's it's good through to the most all of January, okay? Let's uh, let's get right into it, Leo. Let's not waste time. We've got this off tarot here. We've got nine cards. They are basically you have your positioning, of course, matters. But we're going to start at the top, and work our way down like this, okay? And um, these were drawn by pendulum divination, okay? And I've tried to clarify these cards. I've, I've, I've meditated on these cards. And I did a video on these, on this particular drawing right here. Um, and then when it, was, when it was done, there was an X uh, thing on the file folder. And I couldn't uh, use the file. So, essentially this is a redo, Leo. Uh, but perhaps that's a good thing. Sometimes the universe... As I had recorded two previous, I had recorded two videos, and we're doing the third one. This one, when the when that happened, let's go on and get into it. I'm rambling. We're gonna start out, Leo. We're starting out with the Princess of Swords from the Aleister Crowley Soft Tarot, Princess of Swords, a very magnificent portrayal. A very beautiful card. Um, more focus on the lines here. See the lines? If you look past the image of the individual, the princess, you see this structure. Well, that is the design. It is a esoteric design of some sort. It is ideas and designs that are directly in your path. Now that's the first card of this nine card spread. So we're gonna we're gonna reference this a little bit maybe, you know? It's the first card. It's the first one followed. We got a seven of discs. Now, seven of discs is a card. People don't like that word. Look, failure. Failure. Everybody. Everybody makes mistakes, and everybody has things that don't work out. If you use them as a as a, a lesson or a reference or the value of experience, or you can you can derive something. You can derive something out of failure. So, ideas and designs that have not blossomed like you wanted, Leo, do not just set them down on a shelf and go, well, I need a new project, I need a new place to go, I need a new person to fix, or I need a new uh, hobby or whatever. Uh, if there's something, ideas and designs, and there's been like failure involved in those do not abandon them because the very next card is a card of glory and abundance it's the ace of cups this is the universe uh, this energy the energy of the aces is next it's almost like Trump energy uh, or or major arcana energy so because I, I mean let's not let's not do that but anyway major arcana energy it's it's aces are really they carry that current that's where their frequency lies so even in, even if, if you look at this right here it's almost like if you peer through the web of life if you peer through the layers of success and failure and and the goals 
have a reward. This is a reward that is set on the path. And right here with the ace, the princess, the princess of swords, in her path of designs. So I believe that in their path, despite setbacks, there is a reward. Do not abandon. Here's the message. I'll make it real simple, Leo. And this could go into February. This is just, it's dropping at this time. You know, this tarot's dropping at this time. So this is the time for you to hear it. Don't let setbacks make you just put something down. Different signs act different ways. Some are stubborn. And it just depends on the person, too. You can have... You can have people out there that kind of fit their sun sign, but maybe they're more like they're ascending. You know, there's a whole thing about these things. All right, second row, indolence. Indolence. Indolence is the Eight of Cups. Beware of escapism. So, Leo, if there's setbacks in your plans and designs, and the ideas and projects and things you're trying to accomplish, know that there is a reward, but do not fall for escapism. Escapism in gaming, escapism in alcohol, escapism in drugs, escapism in sex, escapism in movies, escapism. Because that is abandonment of your goal, your project, your plans, ideas, and designs. Escapism completely undermines it. Okay. Now you have a trump card here. You have Major Arcana. Boom, the lovers. I hope that's the stat. I hope that's the screenshot or the thumbnail generated. When I upload this, because I mean, just stick, just stick that word, just stick that word on the screen. Let's see what we can. It's a beautiful card. Well, what does it have to do? Well, this card can mean openness to inspiration. So let's. They're beside each other. Don't fall for escapism. Therefore, you will remain open to inspiration. If you fall to escapism because of setbacks, you will probably not perceive the inspiration. And the universe is always talking, Leo. You know that. You know that. Sorrow. This is a warning. Sorrow. It's a three of swords. Honesty and transactions. Okay. This card basically if when you're honest in your transactions, there will be justice afforded to you. Um this doesn't necessarily mean financial transactions, although that's the first thing a person would think of. It can mean transactions in energy. You have to be honest about your escapism. This is one little separate, like, sub-message, okay? It's still in line with the, the top of this right here. But escapism will block inspiration, and there will be a transaction paid. Sorrow is the card, Three of Swords. It's pretty straightforward. This is much better than the previous time I recorded this. I was just not, I was just not with the energy. Now it's making sense. I'm glad the file was corrupted and I had to re-record this. <laughs> Let's get on down here to the bottom row. Ace of Wands. I told you again. Ace energy is like major arcana energy. Powerful. It's got a high frequency. You've got two aces, Leo. You've got Trump. Major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. You have three major arcana. You have a princess. You have two aces. It's a very strong pull 
or drawing. It's a strong drawing, Leo. Okay? Well, let's go with this Ace of Wands, a very popular card. It's probably one of the most popular, one of the top, most popular cards in the deck. Uh, for many reasons, this is new strength. New strength. I think maybe you've been dealing with an illness. I think maybe you've been dealing with injury. Or maybe you've been dealing with uh, a blow to finance or a blow to situation. So it's either a, you've been dealing with over the past year or two, you've been dealing with a hit to your situation or health injury or something like that you know it could be anything from a chronic condition it could be anything to a injury from an accident it could be um basically uh an eviction uh you know or something like that it could it's just saying that there's new strength coming in to balance the scale for what you have dealt with over the past year definitely the past year followed by the art card we have a trump major arcana let's we'll say major arcana don't don't read into that but i'm just trying to say major arcana okay just you know, i'm in a weird place right now this will do you reading the art card It's a beautiful card. Realization. Realization, Leo. Realization. New strength and realization. Okay, so these are going to be, this is a current new strength and realization. And we have the moon card. The moon card is not, it's got many, it's a mystery, it's mysteries and, and all that. And esoteric is one of the most esoteric cards in a deck. Is, is seriously this is one of the most potent to me it, the, the effects of the oceans the effects of animals the effects of humans the moon car it's it's profoundly i mean like sine waves right here these these, these uh, colored lines are right here um it's one of the most powerful the sun card the moon card the magician uh magus uh Herophant, um those are some of them, you know, your more potent cards. The more they carry a very stout and uh, energy. And so, brink of important change, positive change. So, let's put this together real quick, wrap this up. Ideas and designs that are delayed, but there's growth. There is reward. Do not give in to escapism and indulgence. Therefore, you can have inspiration and openness to inspiration. Honesty in this transaction of energy. Look at yourself. Look at yourself, Leo. Are you indulging in, in escapism? Oh, I was going to work on this project, but it's been such a problem. And there was this, and then there was that. And the package didn't show up today. I'm just going to go out and just hang out with my friends. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. It's time to. Uh, it's, you need. To, you need to stay with it. And then we have this uh, ace down here. A new strength, realization, brink of important change. It's so positive. This is a super positive finish to this nine card Crowley spread here, Leo. And um, for those of you who are going to hear it, I believe you're going to connect to it. I hope so. And that's going to be it for. The first reading of the year, Leo, 2023, going to January. Have a happy new year, and uh, we'll see you around, huh?